Good morning and welcome to Gridbusters. So today we're carrying on installing the solar panels. Uh, Jude at the moment is just installing the next load of racking. Uh, meanwhile, inside the garage, I've been doing a little bit of pre-wiring, getting trunking and so forth ready for the solar cables. Let me show you what I've been doing. So these are the two solar combiner boxes. And um, I've put in this uh, trunking here underneath and these two junction boxes. The cables from the roof, the solar cables, are coming through this tube here. And I decided to mount a junction box here to keep everything neat. And then I've got this conduit which comes along here. So the solar cables will come out of here, come into the conduit there, and then go directly into the combiner boxes. And then the solar, and then the solar cables will come, the output of here will come out of here and just go straight through the wall and then into the new underground uh, conduit, which is gonna go into the uh, plant room, which is over there. Uh, we also have another junction box here. This is for the bus bar for the earthing system. Uh, so all of the um, earth cables from the solar combiner boxes from the roof will come down into a junction in here and then come along here into the earth bus bar for the main, um, which feeds back to the house, for our main earth for the house. So everything's ready for cabling. Just a couple of really small things. I just need to put a, a, an end piece on this trunking. There's a big hole there. Uh, I'm about to go to the store to see if I can, if they sell end caps, which I think they do. Uh, and I also need to order a, 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 an earthing bus bar for here. I have something temporary which I can use, but I wanna have a proper uh, bus bar which I can mount. I've seen some on Alibaba, so I might just uh, order one of those. Um, but yeah, ev everything here is pretty much ready. I've pre-wired the combiner boxes. Um, well, actually they came pre-wired. I just, I've put the fuses in, they had some fuses. Uh, I'll film it when I actually uh, wire them up as well. Um, I'm off to the uh, home improvement store, the Bricker Marche in a minute, to get some trunking for the solar panels. Um, and let me show you exactly why. So we have eight panels per string, and you'll notice that we've only got four panels, and then there's a break, and we've got the next string starting here. So what's going on? Well, we've decided, just be, simply because of the way that the roof is laid out and the purlins are laid out, uh, we've decided to break this string into two. We still will connect, you know, connect it together with, with, with cables, but we've decided to have uh, like a ladder, a ladder gap between halfway, if you like, at the halfway point in the string for servicing. So in the future, if in like in 10 years time, uh, like one of the panels goes bad, we don't have to take the whole thing down just to replace one panel or hire a cherry picker or something like that. Uh, we can, you know, we can still get to um, the panels uh, because uh, it's not just like one massive wall of glass if you like uh, so yeah that's that's what we're doing so we've got a, a ladder gap here we're going to also have another ladder gap a little bit further along and that will enable us to service the panels now obviously um, this is something I didn't take into account when I ordered the racking system so we are short of a few end clamps and so forth so I had to order some more of those from Allo Solar, which is uh, where I'm actually getting all the solar gear from here in France. Um, and the other thing which we are doing is we are connecting um, earthing, you know, the earth, earth connections are going from um, uh, one rail to the next rail. So you can see here, we have an earth cable and that is uh, connected with these earthing clamps. And these earthing clamps clamp onto the rail uh, and then um, you know, we clamp the, the cable to uh, the clamp, cover it in silicon, and then it's gonna be connected to uh, the rail adjacent to it. Uh, so uh, what I'm actually off to, I'm off to the DIY place in a second to get some trunking, which will go between um, both uh, rails here, it basically jump over the, where, where the uh, ladder gap is. Uh, so I don't want to just have bare cables uh, lying on the actual roof itself.
So today we've managed to install 10 solar panels. And the thing which really ate up the time today, to be honest, was putting this ladder gap between um, the two sets of four panels. So we've got eight panels in total per string. Um, and you can see we've got like, we've basically split the strings up into two separate sections. Uh, and that's really just for serviceability so that we can uh, you know, replace a panel if one goes down, if a bird you know, poops on it or something, we can clean it. Uh, I just think it's really important to be able to have access to all the panels easily. And this was something we did n not in the initial design phase. So uh, we had to do a little bit of design work today to get it all working because we still had to carry the cables over the ladder gap and also the earthing as well. Um, and I had uh, bought some trunking, but it turned out that the MC4 connectors wouldn't fit through the, the trunking and I wasn't really happy with the way the trunking looked on the roof. Uh, so I had to, um, we had to, you know, look for a different solution. So let me show you uh, what we've done. So this is uh, the solar uh, rail, um, the accessories go into these channels here and it is actually it's, it's aluminium or aluminum and it, it, it is actually hollow so uh, Jude actually had the idea of why don't I go and buy some aluminium um, tubing so this is just hollow aluminium tubing quite cheap from the hardware store and we can just slot it between the two the two rails and then cable tie the cables at the back of this um, this rail, and that's what I've done. I've also put them in trunking, so I've put the the earth cable and everything in inside trunking, which is then hidden behind the rail. And then I sprayed the rails black. So you can see here, we've got these um, aluminium uh, rails here, which have sl slid into the profile. Um, I think what I'm going to do is also put some silicon around here so we don't get bugs and things going inside or water inside the rail. It's probably okay, but I think that's just a you know good measure there. And then I put the earth cable um, inside, uh, inside this trunking, cable tied it on. And then these are the earth clamps and I'll show these probably in a, a future video, probably tomorrow, uh, which clamp to the rail and they also pierce the anodized uh, coating on the aluminium rail and then I put silicon over the connector because there's the the copper cable here which would uh, corrode otherwise so that's being covered in silicon and that ensures that we've got a good connection between the two halves of the string here and then obviously we'll have another um, one of these earth connectors at the far end before the cables go into the roof uh, and then we've just basically done the same up here, but the only difference is we've linked the solar cable, uh, goes up over there and then down. Uh, and then we've just done the same all the way up. Uh, we actually ran out of earth clamp cables, which is why you can see the green earth cable at the top there. We haven't put that in trunking yet and those haven't been clamped on yet. Uh, we've also run out of end clamps, the solar company Allo Solar didn't send us quite enough end clamps, so we're just using the middle clamps temporarily with wooden blocks until they arrive in the post. I believe those are coming on Thursday or Friday. Um, I think no, Friday, I think those are all coming. So we'll be able to get the final panels on uh, this section of the solar installation first thing tomorrow morning. That should only take a couple of hours. It's very, very quick. And then we've got one final string, which is the fourth string of eight panels, which goes all the way along the ridge there. And there's no ladder gap because you can, we can service those from underneath. Um, and that's just one long string. So we're hoping to get that all in tomorrow. <laughs> and then Friday, hopefully we can wire everything up. So uh, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for your comments. Uh, if you'd like to see updates and see how much power this is all gonna generate, uh, subscribe and then you will get updates. And by the way, you know, keep those comments coming. Really love your comments. And um, by the way, if you want to hear my answers to some of your questions on my solar installation, you might be interested in watching this video right here.